Hi, I'm Daisy, and I'm an Americanaholic. Why? The style, the attitude, the accents. I can't get enough of it. So I'm traveling from New York to LA and everywhere in between. I've got big dreams, American dreams, and I'm going to live every single one of them. I just hope you're ready. Ow! Bounty hunting, the last acceptable form of vigilante justice. And what better vigilante than me? I knew that there was a lot I needed to learn, so the obvious place to start was the school of veteran bounty hunter Bob Burton. Explain to me what the terms are that bounty hunters use if someone's skipped bail, or what, what are all those words that you use? We are the fugitive. Fugitive. Sometimes called the skip. Fugitive the jumper. Is the skip, the jumper. We have the agents looking for them, sometimes called b bounty hunter. The technical term is bail enforcement agent. We will be tracking down and arresting, taking into custody, if you will, the fugitive. Why are they always in their underpants? Only certain elements of our society walk around showing their underwear. But always, whenever I see it on TV, they're always in their underpants. Oh, well, I'll tell you the truth, I, I don't share that perspective. I haven't noticed that. And what kind of things do people put down for cholesterol? Put down for what? Collateral? Cholesterol. Collateral. Is that what you, not, you said cholesterol, but you mean collateral. Do I? C-O-L-L-A-T-E-R-I-A-L. Collateral. You put down, you put yeah, down to your back car up, for yeah. cholesterol or for... Right, collateral. So I joined one of Bob's classes where he told us about the ins and outs of the job. In this course, we're going to be teaching you takedown techniques. We're going to teach you how to put on handcuffs. We're going to be talking about how and when to use deadly force. We're going to be talking about the skip and how armed and dangerous they may be. Yes, sir, no, sir. Hello, I'm Daisy. We moved on to a practical lesson in subduing the skip with fugitive recovery expert and Bob Burton graduate, Frank Calderon. Everyone that works in this, in this field should have a pair of safety gloves. What are they? These are, these are Kevlar-based gloves that protect you from needles, hypodermic needles. Uh, they'll protect you from knives, things that'll stab you. So you bring out your handcuffs. You want to just guide his hand back. Handcuff. I mean, if I'm exhausted, uh -huh. can I just chain him to the fence for a no, bit? No, it would be considered cruel and unusual punishment to chain somebody to a fence. But if I handcuff him to the fence for five minutes while I take a breather, that's not a problem. What we're going to do now is I'm going to have you guys practice a little bit on each other on how to handcuff, all right? Perfect, all right. You have a lovely smooth leg. So you double check everything. You've checked When do both I do sides. the cough and drop? When, when do you do which one? The cough and drop. The cough and drop? We don't do that one. OK, slap it down, all right? Down and around. There you go. OK, so when you bring him to your vehicle, your partner opens the door. Christmas. How do I blindfold him? You don't blindfold him. I thought you have to blindfold him on the way to the prison. No, it's considered a cruel and unusual. Don't blindfold. Anything that will cause humiliation or embarrassment to the prison. But they shouldn't know where they're going. They know where they're going. Oh. Is it better to, like, put him in the trunk somewhere where there's more space? Put him in the trunk, you might as well get yourself a jail cell. The law states, once you arrested him, they have to go in the same reasonable comfort as yourself. There's reasonable. I can no. understand not leaving them alone in a hot car. Well, but if, is, the, if he's uncomfortable, if the trunk is big and you put no. holes in... No, you're going to go to jail. You don't want to do it. Why even bring it up? OK. I you don't want to do it. I why bring up the situation? Well, I won't bring it up. I won't bring it up. Don't even, don't even think even about, think about it. it. Can you spit on someone? No, that's considered assault. You're assaulting him, and that's not. there's no reason for you to spit on him. The final part of Bob's course was on surveillance techniques and the takedown. How many donuts do you get through? That's the other thing. Do Refrain eat from eating donuts. Oh, really? I thought I've seen it in the films. You have coffee and donuts. Well, I have coffee, and of course, anybody can eat anything they want. I like coffee and, and, and carrots. I would like to order a pizza. I'd like a 12 inch. American-style pizza with pepperoni, like pepperoni, margarita, mushrooms, green peppers, sweet corn. Here he, here he comes. Be careful. All right, bingo, if you want to, we can do it. Are you up to it? I'm up for it. Are you? I'm up to it. Ready? Handcuffs? Now, remember now, uh, 
He's a class student. This is a training session. Do not go bonkers. Put your hands on the head. We're going crazy. You're going to have a plan. Put your hands on the head. Move yourself. You're a filthy, low-life scum. You are going down to jail, sir. You are going down. Where's the cuffs? I don't know. I thought you had them. You said you had them. No, I did not. I you... had to... This was an ambush and part of our training. See how well prepared you are. Where are you? Oh, escape, escape, escape. Be a good boy. Always be prepared. System has a certified bail. With my diploma in hand, this was surely the first day of the rest of my life. All I needed to do now was get hired. I managed to get myself an interview with Joey Durando, the sole proprietor of the Gentleman Prefer Bonds Bail Agency. Are you Joey? Yes, I get up and I'd fall over. I'm Daisy. My pleasure. Sit down. I mean, what I really want to do, Joey, is work. How long have you been doing this? Some time. The asset of you getting next to these people is your female. Exactly. And let me show you something. I dropped the pen. This yours? You're in, you see, you're sold. How would you handle a violent person? I'd, uh, I'd take him down with a glockenspiel. I want somebody to be able to protect himself. I've got good torture techniques. See, that's another thing, torture techniques. The purple napple. What was the purple napple? The purple napple. It's the twist. You're talking all these technical terms, but, the, you know... That's technical, yes. What, what achievements have you had in the past? I do the 100 metres in 8.7 seconds. You are a world record holder? Yeah. Good for you. I'm very good with helicopter surveillance. Well, I don't, I don't think you have to go to that extreme. But I'm good at it. I can see someone running. Well, you know, to, to get a helicopter to, to, to find a bail for, which is it's a little expensive. And I, I don't pay for your expenses. Don't you? What about if I want chocolate? I'll, I'll buy a chocolate, yes. You'll buy me chocolate, but you won't pay for me to go up in a helicopter? No. But I'm looking for somebody that I can produce. Who have you picked up for? I picked up O.J. Simpson. I'm sure that was the easy one. Well, I was the one behind him in the white Bronco. Whatever. How are you in investigations? Actually, I've got 20-40 vision, and my eyeballs stick out 80 degrees from my head. Uh, I have a sense of smell like you would not believe. I can smell a man out. I'm sorry? Would you like to know what you smell of? How I would define your smell? Please. Quarter biscuit. Quarter coffee. Quarter squash. No squash. Quarter urine. Quarter urine? What do you say? I can't do it. Can't do it? No. I can only wish you the best. Bye, Joey. Bye. He couldn't do it, but I could, and I was going to. Coming up on Daisy Does America. I got a guy for shoplifting a $500 bond. Sorry? I picked him up, and we started downtown, and he took a gun and put five holes in my vehicle. In your beard? No, in my vehicle. vehicle. Oh, vehicle. Car. So Joey didn't think a woman was up to the job. Well, I'd show him by teaming up with the best female bounty hunter in Arkansas, Donna Matchett. Nice to meet you, partner. Donna Matchett. Daisy. OK. Daisy and Donna. I'm very glad we're going to be working together. All right. Uh, you're wanting to be a bail bondsman? Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Don't be scared. I'm a reliable partner. I'll be Cagney to your Lacey. <laughs> Whatever. You never show any expression 
Any expression? Any expression. Animal smells fear. Humans can smell fear. I know when someone's afraid of me and when they're not. So if I'm sitting here doing that, what does that mean? Well, number one, you're very nervous. And you're not sure of yourself. What about if I'm like that? You're waiting to see how far I'll go with you. And that? They don't do that. They don't ever do that? They never do jazz hands? No. The criminals never do jazz hands? When a woman goes after a man, you don't have any problems with uh, them fighting. What happens if you go after a woman? We have more fights with women than we do. Really? Why? They just want to fight. Where they make their mistake, they fight like a woman. So what kind of things would a woman do when she fights? Pull hair, uh, scratch, claw, general female stuff. Like bikini mud wrestling? Well, yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Too much to hold? You're not holding on? I normally don't hold women's okay. hands. <laughs> Please. You can't wear that in Arkansas. Can I wear one of these? No. No. There's a grenade, Donna. I don't think we need those. We would be using Pyrga. No. How will I look pretty in you're these? Not, you're not going to look pretty. So even if they make my bum look big? I don't think it's going to make your bum look big. I was fully geared up and ready to go. The only problem was we had to wait for someone to jump bail. So now we wait for a skip. Yeah, uh, we've got one working if we uh, get a call. Uh, Buddy's working on one. Who's Buddy? Uh, he's another bondsman here in town that we work with each other. Is that a walkie-talkie? Yeah. Can I try it? Come in, Donna. Can you hear me? Yeah. Come in, Donna. Yeah, I can hear you. Over, over. Could you hear that or are we just very close to each no, other? No, I can hear it. So I could go for donuts and you could radio me? Uh, it depends on how far away. So we need a local donut store? Generally, unless you're going on a stakeout, you don't worry about donuts. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Miss Donna? Hey, have you heard anything? All right, honey, we'll be over there shortly. All right, kid, let's go. So Donna and I hit the road to meet with Buddy so he could brief us on the particulars of our bail jumpers. Hi, Buddy. How you doing? Nice Bye. to meet you. You say we've got a couple of forfeiters that might be falling into place here pretty soon? Uh, Kenny's working on one right now. Okay. He went down to Laurel get a guy out of jail, and he knows exactly, because he co-signed mm. her bond, he knows exactly where she's at. And then the other one, we were waiting for a snitch, maybe. Yeah, he's uh, evidently he's supposed to get off work at 5.30. The snitch? No, the... The defendant. Told us. Oh, the okay. one we're after. I've been doing this for 26 years. And I'm going to tell you, I, I got a guy for shoplifting a $500 bond. Sorry? I picked him up, and we started downtown, and he took a gun and put five holes in my vehicle. In your beard? No, in my oh. vehicle. Oh, vehicle. Car. This is my son, Kenny, and my daughter, Becky. Nice to meet you, Daisy. Nice to they, meet you. They are Hi. the one that knows how to go get the skips. So he, he can explain to you what, what we're going to do on this skip. Are we working all together? Yes. yes. Can I be near you, behind her, and behind him, and behind him? But I was hoping you'd knock on the front door. No, buddy! <laughs> hey, hey, we got I can't knock on the idea. front door. We got an idea. And what? We, we've done it before. Tell. We go knock on the door. Yeah. And you say, have you seen my dog? And you just grab the dog. Shall I be the trap? Huh? Yeah, you can be the trap. <laughs> Are you seeing my dog? <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing my dog okay, anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're finna get ready, and we're gonna do a little research, and then we're gonna get ready to go get these folks. Everybody, let's get our minds right, and let's get our stuff together. And we'll take about an hour, and then we'll get ready to move out and go catch these forfeitures. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll have the right frame of mind. Sorry? Get your, mind, get your mind ready for it. This was it. We were going on the hunt. I had to get my mind ready. What else did Buddy say? You think somebody would be gentle and easy to get? 
not no, not not very much talking going on. That's, and he was only charged with shoplifting. Hey, Daisy. Hello. Ready for action? So everybody's back and ready to go to work. I'm ready to be bait. Okay. Well, I, I think there's been a change of plans. We're not going to use you as bait. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to let you knock on the door because she ain't going to be expecting us coming. You're going to let me knock on the door? Mm -hmm, I'm going to be right beside you. Kenny then clearly explained what we were supposed to do and where we were supposed to be. Personally, I think I was supposed to be at home with a nice cup of tea. The skip we have is a male. He's 5'10", 250 pounds, blue eyes, bald, got a Fu Manchu looking mustache with a goatee. I know who he is, he's Hulk Hogan. I'm not going. The second skip we're doing, the lady is about five foot tall, she's 95 pounds, got blue eyes, brown hair, but you know, she's gonna be a little petite person. So who's actually going to cuff her? Well, we've talked about that, and uh, once we get her under control, we wanna give you the honor. You got a problem with that? No, sir. You got your cuffs. That's the main thing. You gotta, have, you gotta have cuffs. You gotta have some <laughs> cuffs. <laughs> Can I borrow some cuffs? I bet I got an extra set. Yeah. We need to there start. We need to rock and roll. Bud, you coming? I'm going. I'm not going nowhere without you. <laughs> coming up on Daisy Does America. If any of us holler weapon, you get out of the way. Oh my God! I literally feel sick. Don't throw up my car. I won't throw up in your car. It was time. Our two-woman team had turned into an army. We ready? We're ready. Go ahead, Jake. Do you have any Valium? No, um, what happens? What happens? Uh, the only I'm thing really that I want to tell you something. I'm really nervous. If any of us holler weapon, you get out of the way. Right, okay. okay. We can't take a chance of you getting hurt. Okay. okay. Get out of the way. Do we have to say bail bond? Yeah, we'll yes. announce oh, bail bond. Oh my God, I literally feel sick. Don't throw up my car. I won't throw up in your car. I'll give you a shout. I'll do like you shout for no. weapon, I'll shout she'll sick. Get, she'll get the paint job then, Becky. <laughs> There's going to be a trailer here and a trailer right here. You'll see the Where are we pulling in? In the driveway. Me and whoever's going to go in the front. And then I'm going to send Greg around the back. Greg. Yeah, Greg, Greg. Go, go between the shop and the back and sweep it with the shotgun. And if he runs out through the woods, put him down. Where do I go? You just follow <laughs> me to the front door. Let's roll. Let's go. What kind of car did he say he had? A blue and gray pickup truck. <coughs> Arkansas tag. Blue and gray pickup. A-E-Z. <coughs> I took a dose of cough syrup, and I think it had. Do you think it's got anything to do with the smoking? <coughs> no, no I haven't had my medicine. you looking. Got a warrant for you. You want me to give you barbecue sauce to whoever's in the house? Yes, yes, ma'am. You got anything illegal on you? Uh -uh. You huh? do get uh -uh. it off, because you're going to be searched when you get to jail. <laughs> He's a bit fat. We need another set. Give me another set. Is that? Yeah. yeah you got you know, good. Is that comfortable, Joe? Thank you. All right, let's go, bud. Okay, yes, Sorry, Joe. We were nice to him. Oh, he's got delicious steaks. Never mind. Are you comfortable, Joe? I'm fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, 
We going down Kerr Road? Yeah, we are. All right, that's my girl. Yes, sir. That's my girl there. Hey. I said you didn't, you didn't clear your warrant up. I, I did. Here's a, here's a thing where I've got to go get that uh, from. Um, that don't. From a certified mail on me, it ain't me. I'm not running from y'all. I know that. We ain't got any choice. Yep. Come on. I've got to clear you up. Let's go. My panties on. I, I need this pants on. Can I? Come with me. Not such a good evening. You don't have anything in your purse. You don't want to go to jail with you, right? Knife, uh, drugs. I did feel bad about having to arrest her, but she was a skip and I was a bounty hunter. Hope you have an all right time. Hope you're OK. Daisy, enjoyed it? Loved that. Yeah, you ain't even get away like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're back in Arkansas. Come, come hold us up. You're welcome to go with us. <laughs> Did your butterflies disappear? Butterflies gone. Right. Thanks Thank for you. everything. We'll teach you how to uh, <laughs> talk uh, English. <laughs> Real English. Proper English. Behave yourself. I will do, ma'am. I learned a lot. <laughs> Thanks so yeah. much. Keep your skirt down. <laughs> Bounty hunter. Check. What's next? Next week on Daisy Does America. Do I need to have a good voice to be a country singer? Yeah. I know a lady wearing a strap top. She's eating a large ice cream. Yeah. Pig, 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 pig. OK, can I just take a look at your rings? When I go out after someone, I take those off. I That's made the so fatal good mistake good. of hitting one with my rings on, and it hurt me worse than it hurt them. What, well, you hit men? If I have to. And sometimes you have to use force. Bob said people would come willingly. Most of the time. Yeah, they will. I don't know how but to But there punch. are times. How do I punch? How do you punch? Mm -hmm. <laughs>